Okay, so the hype is up. Mihoyo has managed to misdirect the community and now everyone is hyped for Zhongli and the Geo buffs. As usual, I am going to talk about what everyone missed during this announcement because this is not happening for the reason you think it's happening for. Of course, if you guys don't know about the buffs, then... Wait, if you guys don't know about the buffs, then, then why are you even here? Why would you click on a video like this if you don't know about the buffs? Anyways, personally, I just finished watching a few videos on it and Tectone, notably, posed a very interesting question. He basically said, What happened? Mahoyo took a strong stand against a Geo buff and they pretty much told us to F off and now all of a sudden they're changing their minds. So like, what the hell happened? Well, isn't that the question? What happened? Now... Not only that, but Geo got a complete freaking makeover. Like, a complete makeover. I can't even recognize the resonance anymore. They call that a buff, but that's not a buff. That's like a complete freaking reboot. Anyways, you guys want to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Money happened, okay? Money happened. It's all about the money. The only time a company like this ever makes a drastic, a drastic change and seems to surrender to their player base is when money gets involved. Don't mess with the money. Everybody knows this. You don't ever mess with the money. Now, let me explain because some of you guys are probably wondering, how does all of this connect to money? Well, you see, this is a business, guys. It's all about the money at the end of the day. Nothing else matters. And your boy Albedo was not going to be getting any sales because of how stupidly underwhelming him and Geo as a whole is. Nobody is hyping Albedo up. And that is the problem. You see, in almost, well, not almost, in every single poll that I've seen, people are voting for Ganyu way more over Albedo. About 50%. Nobody is actually batting an eye at this guy, and they consider him a throwaway banner, throwaway kind of character. Now, you guys seriously think that Mihoyo would leave a no-brainer, toss-aside kind of character just lying around for everyone to skip and save Primo Gems? That ain't gonna happen, because from a business standpoint, that is a stupid move. No business is going to invest their resources and decide that it is okay to carry a loss. That is insanity. Basically, yes, I'm saying that they buffed Zhongli and the Geo element to peak interest in Albedo. You'll see the YouTube community is pretty much going to explode with Albedo's content when he drops because the new buffs will give new synergies to play with which are kind of overpowered if you haven't noticed. Now, you see, they need people to have some incentive to pull for Albedo. And I actually do have a video coming up to analyze his role before he drops. Basically the same thing that I did for the Zhongli video except nobody saw that. So, um, yeah. Now, let me just try to drive this home for you guys because... I know some of you guys are going to be skeptical about this. Let me just be clear. Buffing Zhongli and Geo has nothing to do with the player base bitching about it. It has nothing to do with Zhongli being bad. It has to do with the money. That is all it is about. It you see, Albedo was meant to be paired with Zhongli. There is not a single other unit in this game who synergizes with Albedo the way Zhongli does. So, if Zhongli as a character is not loved then anything related to him will not be loved either. And the whales won't whale. And that means no money for the Albedo's banner. And that's bad news because that means the company is going to suffer a loss. Of course, if Bennett is in there, then the banner is instantly going to become appealing. And by the way, don't see six or Bennett because you're just going to ruin the guy. Now, to fix this money problem, you got to address the root of the issue here. You got to address Zhongli first. That's why Zhongli is getting some insane damage buffs which is going to peak interest in pulling for him at the very last minute. And that means that you are more likely to spend for Albedo if you want the combo, which is what I'm going to explain shortly. Basically, it's just another clever business setup, but this time it's more like a win-win and it's not just Mihoyo screwing us over, which, by the way, could still happen because if the buffs don't come true the way they are presented, then that means we're dealing with some serious comebacks that would use any underhanded means to gain, you know, make sure they don't suffer a loss. Anyways, fortunately, I don't think that they are going to pull a dick move like this because that is going to drive customers away. And if you drive customers away, then... Again, it's all about the money. Now, I'd like to quickly analyze the changes for you so you can see what's going on in their big brain. And the biggest change we can see is that 
now double geo teams are going to be really good for damage meaning that the resonating combo with Zhongli and albedo is going to be even more insane than it already is and god forbid you throw the geo main character in there because we're talking stupid dumb damage here all right that is stupid damage they also made it so that Zhongli now puts a pillar up for free when he shields. And what this change does is that it makes it so that you no longer have to decide whether it's shield you want or damage you want. Are you getting the picture? No? Well, I'm going to drive this home even further. They made it so that the shield and the damage both scale off of his HP, at least to a certain percent. Are you seeing it now? Zhongli used to have the battle of whether to use HP or attack on him and most people including me who are playing him defensively we settled on attack and crit. Now Mihoyo wants to eliminate completely this dilemma and make it so that it's like a no brainer kind of choice to go with HP percent. Therefore the obvious solution is making his damage scale more on HP. So now we have shields and damage not having to sacrifice one to gain the other and they also give us the ability to put both up at the same time again not having to sacrifice one to gain the other these two changes completely eliminate the question of whether you should play defense Zhongli or damage Zhongli because now you could just play both and it doesn't even end there. They also buff this guy's normal attacks to scale on his max HP, which now gives him main DPS potential, despite him being tank material. All of these changes are making Zhongli so much more appealing, and it definitely solves the first issue, make Zhongli great again. Simple. The second issue is that Geo sucks for damage, and Albedo is being advertised as a Geo burst support. Now, if Geo sucks a damage and Albedo is going to be coming as a Geo Burst support, then nobody is going to be interested. Now, and yeah, he is. He is a Geo Burst support. Burst support, not main DPS. I'm going to make a video on that in my next... Um, my next video is going to be a video about Albedo being a Burst support. And I'm also going to be talking about split damage DPS units and some very, very important things that you guys need to know about them. So subscribe, turn on notifications if you're really interested in that and analysis-based content. Now... This needs to be fixed as soon as possible because Albedo is right around the corner. You see, even with a Zhongli buff, nobody is going to care about an Albedo Zhongli damage combo if the Geo element itself is not a damaging element. So they reworked this to make sure that Geo is an appealing damage element. They want to give Geo the image, they're changing it because originally Geo is supposed to be just for tanks, right? Now they want to give Geo an image of damage. You want to be like, okay, this element could do damage. And that kind of screws up my prediction with Dendro and Geo because I thought that Dendro and Geo would have had some synergy that um, would give Geo some more damage. But that is still on the table. So if you did watch my predictions video, that is still on the table, even though Geo is being changed right now. It's still possible that Geo and Dendro is going to synergize. Now, Albedo has definitely sparked my interest after after this um, announcement with the buffs on Geo and Zhongli. And I do have Zhongli. Finally, I um, I actually summoned for him like a week ago. I, I'm not the kind of person that summons right as the banner comes out. I definitely wait until some testing is done. And I think you guys should really, really, really do that before Albedo drops. And any other character, just please test the characters. Wait for some testing. Don't waste your Primo Gems. And just be careful of the hype. All right? Now, I'm actually interested in pulling Albedo because the thought of a team with Albedo, Zhongli, and the Geo MC is so freaking terrifying. It is such a powerful combo. And I will make a video talking about this, even though I... I want, I'm free to play, so I want Albedo, I would love to have Albedo, but I love Ganyu even more because she's a cryo enabler, and I need a cryo enabler for my Razor team, which is what I mentioned in Razor, in the Theory Crafter Razor composition video that I made. Now, I will be doing a video on this team. Zhongli, Albedo, and the Geo MC. I'm definitely going to be doing a video on this team. I won't be able to show any demonstrations, but I'm definitely going to talk about what this team is capable of doing because there is a lot of things that people do not realize this team is going to solve so many problems for us in the abyss if these buffs are going to come true the way they say they are going to come true. Of course, this geo buff also peaks 
great interest in a Ning Wang Zhongli comp, which I think I have mentioned in a previous video that I have been struggling to make Ning Wang and Zhongli work together because there is so much lack of synergy and I cannot justify putting Zhongli on the team instead of some other like a pyro unit or something. But this change definitely makes them work putting together. And by this change, I'm talking mostly about the Geo buff. It is also going to drive a lot of sales on the Zhongli banner right now. So a lot of people are just jumping onto the banner and trying to sum up a Zhongli because they know the buffs are coming through. And, well, if the buffs don't come through as presented, then, well, we got played, okay? We got played. Because if, if they don't bring the buffs the way they say they're going to bring the buffs, then... I don't know, man. That, that's that's going to really suck. And I do not think they are going to risk losing that much of a community. Because I personally would quit this game if they don't bring the buffs as they present it. Because that is technically misinformation. Even though they say it is not confirmed. It is technically manipulation. And I do not like it. And I do not think that MiHoYo would dare make a mistake like this. So what I'm trying to say here is that yes... The buffs are coming. I think it is a safe bet to place that they are not going to screw this up. Because a lot of people, trust me, a lot, due to the drama that we had before at the starting of this game with the resin. And you know, you know what I'm talking about. There was a lot of lashback when it comes to um, microtransactions and whatnot in this game. So Mihoyo is not going to make that mistake. Trust me. They are not going to risk losing a community this big. And, you know, just completely shredding their reputation. So these buffs are coming. I'm pretty sure they're coming. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly get all of that off my chest. And before you go, do yourselves a favor. And please check out my video where I show you guys how to manipulate and add substats to artifacts in literally any gacha game that works with this exact same system that we have with our artifacts here in Genshin Impact. It works with any game. So I don't care what gacha game you're playing. If it's the same system it works okay please go watch that video that is a very 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 important video i want it to go viral i want that video to reach every single person that plays genshin impact so you guys could know that you can manipulate and add substats to artifacts it's an entirely a one hour long video i did not cut edit <laughs> there is no you know no underhanded stuff going on there i will make a separate video talking about because that video the quality is not really that good because i had to do it kind of like in, in like a live kind of thing but yeah, it's worth watching, okay? It's an hour of worth watching. Just go watch that video right now. Unless you're not interested in getting God Rolls, then that's fine. If you're not interested in awesome artifacts, then that is fine. And um, seriously, subscribe. Y'all missing out. Y'all missing out on some exclusive stuff that I share here. I do analysis content. I did so many already. As usual, don't forget, learn the game and play the cards you were dealt.